Hello guys, Colonel Nini here. This is the second video about complex engine management, specifically about propellers. If you wish to transition from automatic propeller control to manual control, then this is the video for you. A propeller is simply a flying wing, which is flung through the air by the engine. The amount of lift generated depends on a few different factors. The variable pitch on the prop gives you an angle of attack which is either fine or coarse or somewhere in between. Fine pitch takes tiny bites of the air as the prop moves forward. Coarse pitch takes big chunks of air and helps us to go much faster. And the more air we try to grab through coarse pitch, the harder the engine has to work. The automatic prop governor attempts to vary the pitch to keep the engine RPM the same. Flying along at a constant RPM is the best thing we can do for our engine. Frequent or rapid changes in RPM are very bad for the engine because they cause overheating or overcooling issues. Automatic mode takes care of this for you. Manufacturers' performance tables are a form of advertising for them to sell their product. You must remember that the numbers they generate are done by a test pilot on a brand new aircraft with perfect conditions. The standard key bindings for the game are found in engine controls. With additional bindings for multi-engine enthusiasts. On the BF-109, the prop pitch indicator looks like a clock just to the right of the RPM gauge. We're on the runway at idle, and I'll press the backspace key, which will turn the automatic mode off and allow us to manually adjust the props. The pitch is set at full fine at 1230 position. We'll hold the period key down to change it to full course at 8.30. Note the sound of the engine as the drag increases and the RPM slows down slightly. A change of about 50 RPM. With the prop in full course at 8.30 position, we have the most drag. We start at 1000 RPM, watch what happens. Press the comma key to decrease to fine pitch. As we vary the pitch towards fine at 1230, there is less resistance on the engine, so it naturally increases to about 1400. So let's go flying with the automatic mode on, and we'll see what the prop actually does while we're climbing and descending, and you'll note that the RPM doesn't move an inch. And once we stabilize in a climb, it wants to sit at the 1040 position. So watch what happens to the propeller pitch in this normal takeoff in automatic mode. As the air speed increases, the prop is able to take a bigger bite and can therefore go to more coarse from fine. And all this happens to keep the RPM the same. As the airspeed or airflow stabilizes, so does the prop pitch. Really quite brilliant for 80 year old technology. Normal takeoff is with the props at 1230 or full fine. And at full power you can feel the force and effect of the slipstream coming back from the prop. Switching to manual pitch. So let's see what it feels like at full course at the 8.30 position. The first thing you'll notice is the absolute lack of rudder response. We have to use the right brake to keep the thing straight. And the engine is only generating 2000 RPM. With the pitch set at 8.30 course, the prop is slapping the air rather than grabbing it and pushing it behind, which is why we have no slipstream. 
let's put the props up at full fine at 1230 and now we have the normal response for this aircraft let's say that we want to climb in manual mode so we know that as we increase the prop pitch we decrease the RPM so knowing that this will occur we can anticipate and add the power back to our normal climb setting of 23,200 but the limiting factor here is our lack of airspeed making the pitch too coarse and we'll have the same problem we had on takeoff where it couldn't support the airflow and slaps at the air instead of pushing it behind it this has the effect of topping out our RPM at 2000 RPM so we're not really going to be going anywhere and if we go the other way to increase the full fine the RPM rapidly increases to the point where there is catastrophic failure damn now it looks like I'm gonna be late for dinner these are the approximate automatic pitch settings which work just fine so manual mode seems like an awful lot of work unless you really know what you're doing with some practice and experimentation you can find that in the cruise and the climb you can actually get much better performance out of the machine although the climb speed will be the same the rate of climb will be greater and in the cruise we can gain another 20 kilometers an hour which is quite handy if you're trying to chase an opponent or if you're trying to run away of course personally I would never run away well guys thanks for watching I hope this clarifies some of the mysteries surrounding variable pitch propellers see you next time if you've enjoyed this video found it helpful please like it or subscribe or if there's another topic you'd like me to cover please